All right, episode two. Let's do this. Where the Vlad? Where are you, Vlad? <laughs> Hello? Come on, Vlad. We have to go. We messed up with the Time to start the episode. Oh my God, Colbert oh, would be so disappointed. Found you. Okay, good. Colbert, would... Colbert no, doesn't even know no, who I don't we are. I talk. Please, please, okay. Back tonight with your host, Vlad Matorikin. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Hello everyone, welcome to Mac Tonight with your host, Vlad Maturigan, or me. <laughs> so, I hope you all enjoyed this week because we actually made it to the second episode. Can you imagine it? Um, so it was quite a roller coaster for us uh, this week and I would like to really appreciate the whole team who put so much effort into it. So we started with uh, releasing our promo video Monday which was um, quite successful. And uh, we just hit like a huge amount of views. With, uh, there was an exception. My Trump impression wasn't that good. But come on, come on. The same thing, come on. <laughs> it was as authentic as his wife's speech. But, uh, but after that, we decided, you know what? We're gonna, we want to release our first episode. We're gonna sip some beer and relax. You decided to skip your second lecture of a year. So we decided to not releasing the first episode of the promo. It's all right. It's all right. We're students as well. Come on. It's hard to you know, find news when it's a welcome week. So we, we, we thought that we would start with something that's really important for the whole university. Ranking. The Higher Times Education actually released the ranking for 2015 and 16. And we, got, we did pretty well in that. So they analyzed 800 universities from over 70 countries with 13 indicators that directly, and we quote, directly relate to family and student experience. And uh, they, they included something like international experience, which is diversity, budgeting, the campus, and the, uh, the which thing, which thing? Oh, reputation, yeah, university reputation. That's, that, that's how you choose university, by reputation. God, not by like employment graduation rate, tuition fees, proximity to your parents, or as I did it, logo, eagle, an eagle, it's so cool, right? Come on, I'm from Kazakhstan, who knows? So, um, but you actually choose by reputation, that's, that's amazing, but how about students who go to, I don't know, Western? What are they thinking about? And we, we actually ranked pretty good. We, we got into 100, which we got 94th, and it's a fantastic news for myself and all those Chinese international students. <laughs> like we chose the right spice to come. But it's a great news for you as well. You know, now being in 100, that means you can compete with all those US schools and those snobs from Oxford. <laughs> and U of T as well, those snobs from U of T, yeah. But you know, there's one thing that actually bothers me a bit. The slithering of Canada. U of T. They constantly make it higher than us. The Gryffindor. We are the Gryffindor. Come on. Have you seen our logo? It's amazing. But how? Why do they constantly make better than us? There are four universities in Canada that constantly get into those rankings. And why we're worse than them? We have it all. We have the good looks. We have the grades. We have the campus. Oh, we don't have the spell check. Okay. Uh, I got it. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, we don't have the spell check, but who cares? Come on. So the second, the second news actually is why I'm so happy about it. It's not actually such a great news. There's something controversial happened during over the welcome week. And if you think that nothing controversial happened in Mac, you're wrong. Um, <laughs> over the Mac welcome on August 29, on Monday during the welcome week, two individuals interrupted Dr. Patrick Dean during his address to first years and I would like to emphasize a couple of points here. Patrick Dean, first years, and welcome address. Let me point out that interrupting Patrick Dean during his address to the first years is like announcing that you're an atheist during your Christmas service at the church. It's just wrong time, wrong audience, period. But what, what actually happened there? So these individuals, they interrupted him because they're part of the club which is called Declare of Campus. And basically what this group is trying to do is to get our director of security and parking at McMaster off his post. 
And to be completely honest, he's quite a character. He got his run-ins with the Ontario Human Rights Commissioner, and he was accused of carding. And if you don't know what it is, it's basically textbook racial profiling. But we don't have the problem with the message itself. We have the problem with the delivery of the message. You know, we all heard that there's a it's right time and place for everything. And especially when you're dealing with such a controversial and sensitive subject, you don't interrupt a person that you're trying to negotiate with. You know, you're trying to be more diplomatic. We're going to build the wall. Well, most of the time you're trying to be more diplomatic. Um, but remember our last episode. Don't spoil the honeymoon. Let them enjoy it. There's a time and place for everything. A time and place. All right. Um, so there's not actually a lot what, ha what happened on campus. And our final research stop was Silhouette website. And you know what? We felt so surprised with what we found. It was easy to navigate. We actually felt so empowered. We were, it was so easy to find stuff what we were looking for and not the Stranger Danger article. Read it anyway. Yeah, so what, what else happened? What else happened? Um, iPhone released. Do we need it? No. Will I buy it? Absolutely. All right, guys, we have a great show for you today. Please welcome Aaron D. All right. So what else happened? Um, on Wednesday, Clubfest happened. Um, and boy, oh, it was hot. It was really hot. It was so hot that all people start talking about global warming again. But a club fest is a great place to find the love of your life, or at least a club. But it's so hard to choose the right one. There are over 300 of those. And there are multiple kinds of those. There's an academic club, a resume builder club, there's a your roots club, there's once a year meeting club, and there's a club that you think is a club, but you're not really sure how they got the status of the club. But it's so hard. If only there were the match.com for clubs. And you know what? Here at Mac Tonight, we have access to future websites and future technologies. So take a look at my blind date with Destiny. <laughs> How are you doing? Doing well, how about yourself? I'm doing great, so tell me about your club. Oh, the McMaster Improv Team. There's nothing more refreshing than what I do. Well, uh, we uh, take people of all skill levels, we teach them how to do improv. Model UN is a whole nother experience. So no script? No script, absolutely no, 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 no script. I mean, if you're looking for surprising, I've got something you're probably not gonna find anywhere else. Being president of the Varsity Inner Tube Water Scrabble Yoga Club. So it's like a serious club. So it's like a serious club. It started out as like an extreme hobby of mine. You're put into the shoes of a country. You have to represent their values, their beliefs. Nothing is quite as relaxing as landing an X on a Scrabble board while underwater. But uh, you know, it's totally drop in. How about a threesome? Oh yeah, we collaborate with other clubs too. So you gotta get together with about 40 other guys in a tiny cramped room. Try getting friends into it. You know, I actually lost three friends to drowning. We stream it live every week. Make a couple dollars. I mean, usually it's not a living wage, but it's enough to like make it feel like our time is worthwhile. I am a man. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, I, we are super excited to actually announce our first guest in the Mac Tonight Show. He's a board member for the Mac Master Only Association. He's a winner of the Arch Award and a producer, host, and the creator of State of Mind, Krishna C. Nadal. How are you doing? Doing well. It's been a long day. We've been here at McMaster for uh, the kickoff of season three of State of Mind. We taped uh, five episodes. I have a very important question. Have you had lunch? Uh, if pizza, pizza counts, then yes. So you actually have a pretty cool uh, biography, actually. Can you get, actually talk sure. a bit about me? So I think it only makes sense to start when I was here at McMaster. Yes, I was absolutely. An honors biochemistry major. So I, uh, like most, uh, South Asians growing up in the 1980s and 90s in Canada, I want to become a doctor. Somewhere along the lines, I realized I didn't want to help people, at least not in that way. And I thought I could uh, do a better job, maybe getting an MBA. I think when, you know, I was running my own sports marketing management company during my third and fourth year, yeah. and I realized I'm really good at this, and uh, moved into banking because that was the fastest way to make money. Uh, 
was a contributing factor into the 2008 financial crisis, so I bought my ticket to hell. How about doing the, the state of mind? Do you think so, that you're compensating in any sense? Well, the funny thing is after I graduated from grad school, I always stayed involved with the academic environment. I uh, served on boards both at uh, Penn State University mm -hmm. and here at McMaster University. You spend so much time in this environment. Mm -hmm. You give your most formative years, and then you just leave. And I thought, I don't think that's the relationship I want with the university. I want to be able to actually interplay with them and have a relationship that extends long after I'm gone from the university itself. You start to realize there's a lot of social, political, and economic aspects of college and university education that aren't going to be taught in a textbook. That's a fantastic transition to the state of mind, actually. Um, just learning through the textbook and being so focused on academic studies and not really exploring the world around you, it's actually like you're losing most of whatever university can give it to you. You know, like you can, you lose so many opportunities to learn and laugh and do crazy stuff right. like we do. So tell us about a bit more how the idea came along. You know, you watch the news and you realize that anything in the academic arena maybe got, if you're lucky, 15 minutes. Yes. And then people move on. Yes. Hold on here. This is the future of our nation. This is the future of the world. These are the people that are going to help shape the world that you know, my kids live in and the one that I'm going to retire in. We need to do better than that. And we need to talk about these issues. And we need to let people know that there's a place they can go to have a platform to speak. And so just seeing that void, not really seeing anyone taking that lead, I thought, you know, I'm going to be doing a lot of talking. I might as well do it on camera and make sure yeah. that people can hear it because okay. God knows I love the sound of my own voice. Happy we'll to do, we'll do. <laughs> Especially if you, if you have an, a great accent as I do. You know, and so that's really kind of where it came from. I knew nothing about TV production. Okay. I didn't know anything about, yeah. you know, writing scripts, booking guests. And so a friend of mine who is a producer, and I did a little bit of TV work for Bloomberg Television, mm -hmm. he said, it just has to start with heart. You have to have heart. Mm -hmm. If you believe in it, you can learn all of this stuff. I've learned so much and I'm still learning and at the end of the day, so long as you're still standing, you got a chance. Okay, so you're on the web. How, if I am watching this video, how can I find you? So uh, our website's www.somkcn.com, state of mind, Krishna C. Nadella. So just think of the first letters. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, hashtag SOMKCN. Uh, Facebook SOMKCN, Instagram SOMKCN, YouTube SOMKCN. That's pretty, pretty easy to find. Consistency is key yeah. here. Consistency is the key. Right. Thank you so much for coming. I hope everyone who's watching us go on Facebook, go on Instagram, go on YouTube, go on whatever, Google State of Mind, find it, research it, and share your state of mind with Krishna Sandela. So message them actually with, with what your state of mind is. And remember, Every life is a book. Make yours a bestseller. Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right, Krishna. Um, so we've decided that you're a host of the State of Mind. I'm the host of the Mac Tonight. Uh, let's decide who is better in a game. So the rules. The rules are, we're going to go and name one building from McMaster, one by one. Easy. Easy and funny. Easy and peasy, I, lemon squeezy. Of course, and I will let you begin. Haddon Hall. Woodstock Hall. Edwards Hall. <laughs> BSB. Togo Salmon Hall. TCH. JHE. HEB. Mm. Alumni House. That was the wrong one. It's not even a thing. <laughs> it's not even a thing. <laughs> but let's let's do that. Right, Mar right, guys. Um, the Michael D. DeGroote School of Medicine. The Michael DeGroote School of Business. The Michael D. DeGroote School of Leadership. The Michael DeGroote School of Medicine. Wentworth House. Um, um, gym. The David Braley Athletic Center. You mean? Like the gym, yeah. Um, uh, McMaster University Children's Hospital. Um, uh, YWC, the Heller Room. Thode Library. Melsfra Library. Health Sciences Library. Hipster Library. What? Hip that's the same, Health Sciences Library. Oh, Hipster okay, Library. Okay, okay, all right. Um, uh, Gilmore Hall. Sure. Thode Library. I said Thode Library. Really? Yes, I did. Ennis Library. 
Ah, Annis Library. Wow. Pulling one out of the hat there. Um, Do you know where, where is it? Oh, yeah. 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 It's like a, yeah. There's a YouTube video. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. We could go with McMaster Art Gallery. McMaster Church. Uh, you were thinking across the street, weren't you? <laughs> I didn't even know that this existed <laughs> before I said it. Um, CFMU. McMaster Mosque. Is it a thing? Uh, let's see, where are we going from here? You guys don't have offices at Mac tonight, do you? All right. You guys don't have offices, do you? All right. Um, let's go with... Did like we Chris House? Yeah, Chris Basala's house. Chris Basala's house, yeah. Um, let's go with the uh, Downstairs John. What? The Downstairs John. Oh, okay. It's like underground. Okay, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Student Center. Musk. Is that the same thing as Musk? Like different names. Like we're talking about like Les Prince Field. Um, I will go with the parking slot, and I'm gonna call the day because I'm the host. Thank you so much. <laughs> listen, mm -hmm. listen to quote Rocky from Rocky IV: "The immortal words: If I can change, if you can change, we can all change." Thank you everyone for joining us. If you would like to get in contact, our credentials are right here. If you know something that happened on university recently, let us know. Gmail is here as well. Join us next Sunday when I'm going to tell you more about Mac tonight. Mm -hmm.